Now, also, my gratitude to His Majesty King Muhammad the Sixth. Uh, may God assist him. And also, we are always grateful and thankful. Uh, And, uh, and I also want to thank uh, 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 my friend Fuzi, uh, my brother Fuzi, for the excellent leadership uh, of uh, Moroccan football, uh, women's Afcon. Uh, the women's Afcon is going to be held in Morocco also for the contr for his contributions and the contribution of uh, Moroccan football to African football. So my gratitude to His Majesty King Mohammed VI, uh, may God assist him. And also, we are always grateful and thankful. Uh, and January 2025, the whole of Africa. So, uh, next year, uh, it is going to be the best, the most successful women's AFCON uh, in the history of African football. Uh, I'm always happy to be back uh, in Morocco, which uh, for me is, is my home. And, uh, but also the world will be coming. Oh. Uh, we, we, Morocco is, uh, is a very special country. It's one of our most uh, tourist Moroccan football has made history, has made history in Qatar, my, uh, brother Fuzi will be hosting uh, the whole of Africa for the uh, for the Khan Morocco 2025 for the oh, sorry sorry for the for the awards. Awards in Marrakesh. <laughs> I'll be back for the awards. My wife said, if you go to Marrakesh, you can't leave me behind. I'm coming with you. Merci. I'm proud of every one of the football uh, clubs that were here. The quality of African club football is really proving that it is as good as the best in the world and I think we're going to see a, a wonderful match. Thank you so much, President. As for the competition regulations, Morocco, as the host nation, is assigned position A1, while South Africa, the defending champions, is placed in position C1. This leaves Nigeria, the third level 1 team, automatically placed in position B1. The draw will be conducted using three parts, part 1 for level 2 teams, part 2 for level 3 teams, and part three for level four teams. I'm sure you're feeling the adrenaline and also the emotions that we saw in Morocco. What a tournament it was. Many more memories. <laughs> Digital platforms. Join the conversation using the hashtag Total Energies Wafcon. Land where tradition meets ambition. Back a bit. The last edition of the WAFCON it shattered records, inspired millions, and proved that the future is indeed of African women's football. Remember, if you're watching us, you can also watch it live on CAF TV YouTube page. After a very impressive debut here in Morocco 2022, women digital platforms join the conversation using the hashtag Total Energies Wafcon. <laughs> Ladies, 